Yo, what's up? What's going on, guys? Zach or Mortal Resistance here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. And it's been way too long since I've said that. Way, way, way too long. It's been like seven or eight days since I last posted a video, which is uh, so I, I I hate not posting videos. Like YouTube's not a job for me. It's strictly a hobby. But when I when I feel like I miss a day of videos, when I feel like I I, I miss a long period of videos, especially a uh, like a week span, I feel really bad because. Uh, I like doing YouTube so much and I enjoy reading your guys comments and seeing the likes go up on videos and everything like that seeing the subscriber count go up and not posting makes me feel like I am uh, I'm just being lazy but unfortunately for like the last week I've been uh, I've been really really sick I get sick like once a year and when I do it really sucks like I just have a common cold like runny nose cough sore throat but when, when I get sick it like escalates really really bad for some reason so uh, that kind of sucks, but regardless, uh, today I feel like is the first day that I can actually talk without breaking into a coughing fit. I've tried recording the last few days, and I get like two seconds into my intro, and I'm coughing like crazy. So, uh, I apologize about the lack of videos over the past week. That's not going to be a thing that happens for a long, long time. I can promise you guys that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. So, today, what you guys are watching is an M16 Bull Trap DNA Bomb. Now, uh, something that I realized when I got this gun was that it had minus one damage. And even though the M16 did recently get a buff that made it a lot better than what it originally was, uh, I feel like it still is not that great of a weapon, or I thought that it was not that great of a weapon before I started using it. However, now that I've actually used the weapon, uh, I actually feel like it's a pretty good gun, you know? Obviously, it's an M16 burst rifle, so uh, close range is really where it's going to be its weakest, but uh, medium to long range, this gun definitely is not too bad, and I feel like what really makes this gun the best is when you add foregrip on it. Now, foregrip on a burst weapon, I didn't really think was something that was going to be that popular of, uh, of an attachment, but I threw it on because I was just putting on attachments for the heck of it while I was grinding out for extended mags which takes like 70 kills while aiming down sight so I thought hey why not throw on foregrip and once I did that I noticed that I was getting a lot of one burst kills like way more one to two burst kills than I was before I had foregrip on and I decided to just rock that I was rocking our red dot because the iron sights on this thing they're really bad just straight up they're not very good at all they're huge and really obtrusive so red dot definitely necessary in my opinion um, and then I also had stock so I could ADS and strafe a little bit faster because that's a huge deal when uh, when trying to play aggressive, especially with a burst weapon like the M16 that's going to get outgunned by I'd say the majority of the weapons in Advanced Warfare, but if you know how to use it, it's still a pretty solid gun. So um, I feel like definitely one of the most helpful attachments on this thing, even though it's a burst rifle, uh, the recoil on this thing is not really anything to be concerned with off the bat. Uh, just adding foregrip on there. It does take down the recoil, you can really notice it more in very, very long range situations, but uh, the big, big factor is that uh, it makes it more accurate, which means that you're landing those three bullets in a burst, you know, in the uh, in, in a situation like where you don't have foregrip on, if you're in a longer range situation and you shoot, uh, you have the chance of only landing, you know, one or two bullets out of that burst on the enemy because of that recoil when it goes vertical. So foregrip definitely increases the chance of landing all three bullets in a burst on your enemies, which is either going to result in a one or two burst kill, which is going to make using this gun much, much easier, much more feasible, you know, comparing it to other weapons like the BAL or the AK, things that are a little bit stronger than this thing in most situations. So uh, that's my take on the M16 now that I've actually used it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, no more long spans of that without videos, no more week long dry absences of videos. No more of that, uh, no more of that hoopla, if I do say so myself. Um, I kind of hate myself for using that word, but regardless, uh, yeah, no more absences like that. I'm um, going to be going full force into Black Ops 3. It's only a couple months away, so hopefully you guys are excited, because I know I am. And that's pretty much going to do things for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating, and if you guys are new, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well, so you guys can catch all the future content as always. I've been Zach or Mortal Resistance, and I will catch you guys next time. Stay happy, stay positive, and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.